The cost of your favorite tea doubled. With 7% tax, you now pay $12.50. What was the original price? Okay, now this might be uh, distressing to some of you because you like tea. Uh, this doesn't bother me too much because I am a coffee drinker because of the price of coffee double. Matter of fact, maybe the price of coffee has doubled. Maybe I haven't been paying attention with all this inflation. But uh, nevertheless, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. And I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay. So here is our problem, and of course, it is a math word problem, but with any problem, you want to read it at least three times to make sure you understand what's going on. So we have this T, okay, it doubled in price, and then we went to the checkout counter, okay, or, you know, online checkout counter, and, or checkout, and uh, they added 7% tax, and so your total, grand total for this T now is $12.50. What was the original price? Okay, so we want to... Uh, find out the original price without the tax. Okay, so that is without the tax. So after you kind of, you know, read the question, absorb uh, the facts and information, what we need is some sort of model here. Okay, now, you know, oftentimes in uh, algebra word problems or math word problems that involve like geometry or some, some sort of way where it's easy to kind of visualize the problem, this particular um, problem is maybe not so uh, easy to visualize. So what you want to do is still come up with some sort of model of what's going on. And let me show you how um, I'm going to suggest that you, you know, model a problem like this. All right. So we're trying to figure out the original price of this T. And in the problem, okay, it says, well, the cost of the T doubled. And then we have 7% uh, tax. And now we pay twelve fifty. So we have to figure out financially uh, you know, what, you know, the tr the, what financial transactions are going on here. Okay. So let's just kind of, um, come up with a pseudo formula, right? That's just a kind of fancy term for, you know, a general formula. We're not going to use variables here, just kind of, uh, yeah, we're just going to, uh, figure out the transactions that are going on, uh, to represent the problem. Okay. So I'm just going to let this OP here be, uh, represent the original price. So it says that, the, um, our price of our, our, of our favorite tea doubled. Okay, so if the our original price, whatever it is, if that doubled, okay, we means we have to multiply by two. Okay, so this right here represents our price doubling. But now we have to place seven percent tax on that new um, cost, right? So that means we're going to have to add um, add our tax. So this is our tax right here. Okay. So what is the tax? Well, it's 7%. So we have to find 7% of the new amount, which of course is double the original price. Okay. So 7% of a doubling of the original price, this would be our tax. So here is our cost plus the tax. And this of course would be our total, okay. Our total amount at checkout. All right, so two times the original price, original price plus 7% parentheses, uh, two times the original price. All this right here, you know, is basically a visual model, or easier to understand model of the transaction that's going on uh, that represents this problem, okay, the transactions, if you will. So with this, we're going to, you know, kind of think to ourselves, all right, well, you know, we need a variable to represent the unknown. And what is the unknown value here? Well, the unknown value is the original price. So because, uh, you know, you're looking for an unknown value, algebra should come to mind because we can let a variable, something like X, represent uh, the unknown value. And then what we want to do is set up an equation. But you can see here, this is pretty much already set up for, uh, set up for us in terms of an equation because this is an equation. We have an equal sign here. But instead of using this OP, original price um, notation, let's go ahead and formalize this with an actual variable like X. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. 
So X would be equal to the original price. So we're going to head, uh, we're going to go ahead and define that. So we'll let X equal to the original price. So this here now is the same formula, but instead of the original price, we are using X. So X is our original price. This is the doubling of our favorite T. And then this is the tax, right? So we'll say, so okay, well, here is the new cost, which is double of the original price. So 7% of that will be our tax. And then here is our new price. And we add this to get, uh, together, we're going to get a total here of 1250 Now, of course, we are dealing in terms of dollars as units of measure. So it's probably a good idea to kind of add that, in, add that in right there. And this 1250 uh, you can put the dollar sign in, but pretty much, uh, it's not necessary, but you do have to remember what the proper units of measure are. So now what we have to do is solve this lovely equation for X. All right. Now, if you um, didn't know how to set this up, I would suggest to see if you can solve this equation. Okay. Because obviously we have a percent here and uh, feel free to use a calculator, by the way. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you. Well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description. But they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. All right, so here is our setup, right? So we have two times X. X is the original price. So this means uh, we just doubled the price. And then we have 7% of the doubling of the price. So this is our tax right, is equal to 1250. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and solve this equation. So 2 times parentheses x is just 2 times x. So we just write that that way. Now, the interesting uh, part of this um, part of the equation is this percent. So how do we find a percent of a number? Well, we want to change that to a decimal. So to change a percent to a decimal, you simply divide by 100. So 7% divided by 100 is 0 0.07. Or you, uh, you can think of it this way, 7.0%. We move the decimal point over two places to the left, which is effectively the result of dividing by 100. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just uh, see where we're at. So we got 7%, so that's 0 0.07 times 2x. And again, we are focused in on solving for X. And we're just doing one step at a time here, right? I'm not trying to do too many steps because we want to kind of tell the story, you know, so somebody who's reading your work, okay, or if you're trying to prove your work to someone else, can understand, you know, what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and see where we're at. So we have 0 0.07 times 2X. So this is all multiplication here, 0 .07, 0 0.07 times 2 times X. So in our calculator, or just, you know, on a piece of paper, 0 0.07 times 2 is 0.14x. So we have 2x plus 0.14x. So 2 is the coefficient, okay, and 0.14 is a coefficient. x and x, these are what we call like terms, okay? So hopefully this terminology that I'm using, like terms, coefficients, coefficient just means the number in front of the variable. But these are um, algebra terms, that, uh, you know, vocabulary that you should be familiar with. Now, if what I'm doing is a little bit complex or challenging for you, don't despair. All that means is that you just need more instruction on this. So let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, pretty much, you know, everything from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So you can kind of scour through that. But if you really want some really, you know, in-depth, comprehensive, formal instruction, step-by-step -step to build up your algebra skills, check out my other uh, pre-algebra or algebra one course. You can find those in uh, the links to those courses in the description. But what we need to do here is recognize that X and X, these are like terms. Okay. In other words, if I have two X plus five X, these are like, because we have the exact same variable here to the same power. So what we need to do, or what we can do, is add the coefficients. So 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x. So here we have 2x plus 0.14x. So we can add 
0.2 and 0.14, and we get 2.14x is equal to 1250. Okay, so finally, finally, we're down to this last step. So to solve for x, I just simply have to divide uh, both sides of the equation by uh, 2.14. You can see that work right here. So we get our calculator out. We get uh, 1250 uh, divided by 2.14. And when we do that, we get approximately 5.84, uh, 5 okay? Now that this, I kind of rounded off a bit. So we're gonna be in the ballpark range here. But uh, remember, X is the original price. We can't forget the units of measure. So this reference represents the dollar amount of the original price of the T. Now let's suppose we're like, you know, uh, looking at our answer and be like, eh, I'm not sure if I did this right. How can we check this? Well, we can go back and just go to our original kind of um, formula, right? Now this was just a, uh, a formula to represent the transactions. So if the original price is $5.84. Let's just kind of walk through what the problem tells us, right? So what happens is uh, we double the original price. So it's going to be two times the original price. That's what it means to double. So let's plug in $5.84 uh, where the original price is in our little formula. And of course, we have to account for tax. So that's going to be 7% of twice the original price. Okay, We have to be very you know, um, you know, thoughtful here because you know, we're taking 7%, not of the original price, but of the new price, which double the original price, right? So let's see here. So we have two times uh, 584, okay, which is the original price. That's the going to be the base cost, 1168, but we have tax, okay? So we have to take 7% on that 1168, and we could just represent that here by as uh, two times 584. So 0.07 times this amount is going to be 0.8176, and when we add these up, Take a look at what we get. We get 12.4976. That's pretty much 1250. Okay. And the only reason there's a little bit of a difference here is because we rounded off with the 584. But this is pretty much conclusive enough that indeed you did this right. All right. So hopefully you're like, okay, okay. You know, not too bad of a problem. And thank goodness we weren't talking about doubling the price of coffee. But you know what? Maybe coffee has doubled. Uh, that would be bad for me. I am a pretty uh, serious professional coffee drinker, although I do like tea as well. But I try to minimize my uh, caffeine intake. Where some of you might be saying, well, I don't know. You know, you might drink a lot of caffeine because you like to talk a lot in your videos. Well, what I like to do is try to teach a lot. And hopefully you find value in my uh, math videos. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.